Hi guys, today I'm really excited to show you my March favorites actually. Oh, are you sleepy? You're not so excited, she's not so excited, but I am. I've just been doing a lot of different new things with my makeup, which is pretty rare for me. I also have a clothing favorite that I think is really worthwhile seeing. I'll put that at the end of the video, so stand by. I have really, really been liking Laura Mercier's Silk Cream Foundation. I use the color Rose Ivory. I've been applying this with my beauty blender. The finish of this is just really nice. It's kind of a matte in a way, but it's also got this really satiny finish that I'm a huge fan of. It has just been reformulated and I have a lot of distrust for reformulations because it never seems to quite be what you once loved. Upon investigation of the reformulation, they've divided this into two separate products. One is oil-free and one is moisturizing. The reviews seem to be either quite negative or quite positive, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm pretty upset about it, actually. <laughs> my next favorite is probably my favorite part of this whole video, and it's kind of more a concept than a product. I clicked on a video by Goss Makeup Artist, who if you're not subscribed to him, he's so talented, He's so he seems so down to earth, and he's really just got a wealth of knowledge when it comes to makeup and beauty. He posted a video the other day after having gone to some class of some fancy pants makeup artist. The girl is just gorgeously talented at makeup and she does this thing that all of her photos look like they've been airbrushed, but apparently they haven't. It is apparently because of this technique of buffing in powder over your makeup. To really get the full idea, I definitely think you should go watch his video, but I have been applying this technique to my makeup application. Basically what I gathered is you do your foundation and stuff, and then you take a kind of densely packed fluffy brush, get it in some pressed powder, and just start buffing. Like pretty, some pretty hardcore buffing techniques are employed in this. I've just been using this Chanel Natural Finish Pressed Powder. I honestly don't think there's anything super special about this, so that's a secret. Any pressed powder I think will do, but it just, it really does an incredible job. It's been making my makeup last a lot longer. It also does this amazing thing of just kind of blending all of the makeup on your face. I don't know, I think it's worth a try. Go check his video out because I did not explain it as well as he did. Next, I know this isn't like brand new or groundbreaking or anything, but I have just been loving my beauty blender so much. I stopped using this and I don't really understand why I did. I really don't think there's any better way to apply foundation, concealer. I even put my blush on with this. It's just, it's awesome and you probably already know that, but if you haven't tried a beauty blender, do. It is very worth it. Okay, I caved and I got something and I was just talking a bit of trash about the Naked 2 palette and I, I really stand by that. I think the formulation of the more like metallic shimmery colors is really crummy. I realized after years of thinking that I was maybe a cool toned person that actually that was very, very untrue. So wow, that took long enough. You can definitely see that the colors are very warm and if you are a cool toned person, I totally wouldn't recommend this for you probably. They're very like rose goldy. I think that this actual formulation is a little better. I don't know if I'm just crazy and like the color more, so that's made me think that the whole thing is better, but I really, really like this. All right, finally, I'm gonna show you my fave clothing item of the month, and that is just in general, the wedge sneaker. I love you so much, wedge sneaker. These are from Zara, and they definitely happen to look quite a bit like the $600 Isabel Marant ones, but hey, they were $30, so that's great. Just, I love them so much. I like wearing heels. I feel more confident in them. These aren't super high or anything, but all I want is like that little, little bit of elevation. You know what I mean? They're really cash and just nice for traveling and stuff. I don't know, I'm really into them. I recently rediscovered these and also discovered that I kind of hoard wedge sneakers. I found like a whole population of wedge sneakers in my closet and that's been all that I've been wearing. 
all month. I, I think they're kind of a polarizing thing. I think some people think they are absolutely hideous and some people think that they're amazing. There's kind of no gray area there. Okay, that's it for my favorites of this month. I'm gonna link my last video, which is a review on the Hourglass Modernist palette. It is a pretty nice palette, so you might wanna go have a lurk on that video. I'm also going to roll some clips for my next video, which is gonna be a review on gel nails, and uh, I'm kind of the master of doing your own gel nails, so definitely check that out if you're into it or want to get into it. I'd love it if you continued to join me on the reg. As always, I really do appreciate you being here. I'll see you soon. Bye.